signal, I'm sorry, 11.2, reception, a signal molecule binds to a receptor protein, causing it to change shape. So inside a cell, we have uh, some parts. We have um, a plasma membrane, and in the plasma membrane, we have proteins. Now these proteins have different jobs. This protein shown here in purple, for example, has the job of a receptor protein. It will receive signaling molecules um, sent throughout the body to cause stuff to happen inside the cell. Uh, then we have a signaling molecule shown as a blue triangle. Now this signaling molecule is called a ligand. A ligand is a general term for any molecule that will attach to a larger one. So the ligand, the signaling molecule, travels to the body and attached to a receptor protein. Now, the ligand and the receptor protein are like a lock and key. They fit very specifically and very perfectly together. Now, when the ligand attaches to the receptor protein, it causes a conformational change in shape in the receptor protein. When that protein changes in some way, it leads to the second stage in cell communication called transduction. Now, there are three types of plasma membrane receptor proteins that we'll discuss in this chapter. We have the first one, G protein linked receptors, receptor tyrosine kinases, and also ion channels receptors. Uh, these three types of um, protein receptors will be discussed in another video. Now, if a ligand in this case is a polar water soluble molecule, it will attach to receptor protein. However, sometimes signaling molecules are hydrophobic or small and they're able to cross right through the membrane. In this case, uh, we would have intracellular or inside the cell uh, protein receptors. Um, a perfect example of this would be the, the steroid hormone testosterone. It can pass right through the cell membrane. So uh, up there as the tiny blue dots, uh, lipid hormone, um, or steroid hormone can pass right through the cell membrane and attach to a protein receptor in the cytoplasm or it can also pass through and also go into the nucleus and attach to a protein receptor there. These are intracellular receptors. Um, an example would be testosterone. So the hormone testosterone is shown as a pink kidney bean looking thing. It can pass right through the cell membrane, attach to the receptor protein, enter into the nucleus and have a direct influence on how or which genes are transcribed uh, during transcription and therefore um, it decides which mRNA is made, which goes to a ribosome to make proteins. In this case, uh, this would be guiding um, male secondary uh, sex characteristics often involved in puberty. So this is a perfect example of an intracellular receptor. Now in the next video, we'll discuss um, the different types of plasma membrane receptor proteins.